So in this problem, we have the points A, B and C form a triangle. Part A show that A, B and A, C are perpendicular. OK, so we're going to need to work out the vectors A, B and A, C first. So A, B is going to be O, B minus O, A. So 8 minus 23, 16. Take away 3, 7 minus 9. Okay, so what do we have? 8 take away 3 is 5. Minus 23 take away 7 is minus 30. And 16 take away minus 9 is going to be 25. So that's the vector AB. Then we want AC. So that will be OC minus OA. So minus 7 minus 3 minus 19 take away 3, 7, minus 9. So minus 7 take away 3 is minus 10. Minus 3 take away 7 is minus 10. Minus 19 take away minus 9 is minus 10. So then we want to do AB dotted with AC. Now if this is equal to 0, then they're perpendicular. We have 5 times minus 10 plus minus 30 times minus 10, plus 25 times minus 10. So we have minus 50 plus 300 take away 250, and that's equal to 0. So AB and AC are perpendicular as required. So that's part A. So the whole idea here is that for part B we need to find the area of the triangle. So what we have is that we now know that there is a right angle here. Here is A, here's B, and here's C, say. Right? We've got AB, we've got AC. So if we worked out the length of AB, the length of AC, then we can use half base times height to work out the area of the triangle. Okay? So we'll work out the length of AB, which is going to be equal to the square root of 5 squared plus minus 30 squared plus 25 squared. Right, so 5 squared plus 30 squared plus 25 squared, uh, square rooted, is 5 root 62. And the length of AC is going to be the square root of minus 10 squared plus minus 10 squared plus minus 10 squared. So that's the square root of 300, which is 10 root 3. Okay, so the area is equal to one half times AC times AB, or other way around. Okay, so we've got 10 root 3 times by 5 times root 62, and then half that, so we get 25 root 186 which is, um, well, let's put it equal to 341 to 3 sig fig, okay? More likely we'd be wanting just the exact answer for the error.